Black Magic is building a DAW. This morning, Blackmagic released a new update for DaVinci Resolve 18. This update adds support for editing in vertical resolutions, such as TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram, as well as automatic locking of timelines within bins, aimed at increasing function for multi-user collaboration. We also have access to DaVinci Neural Engine-enabled AI Dialog Leveler. Man, that is a mouthful. I didn't ask and AI voice isolation tubes in the gut, edit, and Fairlight pages, and the long-awaited vector key framing for Fairlight automation curve editing. Wow. Fairlight also now has a grid support, giving us the ability to position clips on a grid based on either timecode or musical tempo. The 18.1 update also makes projects imported from ATEM Mini ISO projects easier to work with by now attaching the audio to the video clips. Black Magic claims that the AI-based voice isolation track effects can remove loud, undesirable sounds from voice recordings. Wow. We can now natively isolate dialogue from background sounds in a recording, with the interesting claim that it will eliminate everything else from moderate noise to aircraft and explosions, leaving only the voice. Voice isolation is perfect for interviews and dialogue recordings from noisy locations. The other new effect is the dialogue leveler track effect in the inspector. Some controls include real-time scrolling waveform display, focus presets, and three process options which claim to achieve natural sounding results. Lastly, Grant Petty said this, This is a major update with new added support for social media vertical resolutions. Now customers can work quickly and easily to create video posts for sites such as TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook Shorts, Instagram TV, and more. Plus, there are some other exciting performance improvements as well, such as the new DaVinci Neural Engine AI-enabled voice isolation tools and new features for Fusion, such as the support for Magic Mask. We're always excited to see what our customers can do with these amazing updates to DaVinci Resolve. Thank you, Grant. And if you found this interesting, consider subscribing.